Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Adam Hayward, for those of you that do not know. Today I want to do a bit of talking about uh, things that I've noticed with my channel that uh, you probably are doing without even realising. What I mean by that is I took a look at uh, the types of videos that you guys are watching to see what type of content you want to see from me. Uh, naturally that means that you get more of what you want and I get to do more of what you want to do as well. So it's a bit of both. It's I, it's everything that I've done so far, I am quite happy doing. Uh, there is more that I am quite happy doing, but you know, you've got to find your niche market at some point. Now, talking about niche markets, most of you seem to want to, <laughs> most of you seem to want uh, me to either haunt my friends or haunt myself, check out really uh, spooky places. I didn't realize how many people have gone and seen my footage of the Queen Mary. Um, it's, I've still not gone through that or it. I still have uh, the pictures on my phone that I took that no one has actually seen yet. Uh, I've not edited the, it's, I've not edited them or anything. It's, I've still got these photos. I'm going to see if I can find them quickly. He says quickly, but then yeah. So it's, I've got photos that I took um, of the pic, well of the uh, mirrors in the room that I was staying in on the Queen Mary, that has not left my phone, that has not been messed with whatsoever because there's no point in it editing some of them. Um, there is one that I thought I saw a face in, but I'm gonna leave that down to you as to whether or not there was a face in that photo. I promise you that when they are uploaded, I have not messed with them whatsoever because I wanna try and make that seem as genuine as possible. Not seem as genuine as possible, I want it to be genuine. It's I want you guys to see that everything here has not been messed with whatsoever, which is why I put up the full un un uh, unedited version of that uh, video on online. It's the only, like I say, it's the only times that they that it actually cuts is when I am um, when uh, the little timer on there runs out. I'm still trying to find out if there is a. It's, I'm going to try and find out if there is a way to stop it from cutting out on me, but you know. Things do happen. Now, why am I mentioning about haunted stuff? Um, well, yeah, because you want to see it, obviously. But then there's also a small factor of um, next year I'm going back to E3. This time I'm not going with uh, Harry and Jack, uh, partly because Harry's phone died while we were out there because of uh, the Queen Mary. He was the last person into the room and only his phone died. It became such an issue that uh, he had to use Jack's phone to message his mum to say uh, to see if he can get the uh, information from his phone off of it's like he had to sort out his uh, stuff and obviously let everyone know that uh, we're okay so that was so he did that and then uh, the next day we went out and got him a new phone got we got him a new phone he bought a new phone he was able to get back things like uh, his flight pass for what well, his boarding pass to get back home uh, a couple of days later and everything. Without all of that, he wouldn't have been able to get a flight back. He'd have had to fork out for a new one. So obviously, uh, it's like that sort of that's that's what we were dealing with uh, with the Queen Mary. It's like while we were there, we personally didn't experience anything except for maybe like a couple of things. But it's like his phone. It's I think whatever was on the Queen Mary started messing around with our phones. It could be because it sees people come onto the ship all the time with mobile phones. I say it, I mean sort of like spirits and stuff where it's they get used to that sort of thing. It's you get you know, you see people come into your workplace every single day, um, maybe you go through the till with their phone, it's they do all sorts. If you work in a hotel, sure you're gonna see people with their phones. If you're a spirit that doesn't quite understand phones, but sees them everywhere, you're going to want to know what the hell's going on. You want to see if you can get someone's attention. That's why I think they mess around with phones, or at least in this instance. I am going, it's, I'm going this time, not like I say, not with uh, Harry and Jack, but with, or at least hopefully, uh, with my brother and a friend of his. I've also asked a friend to, to to see if there can be four of us going this time. Um, 
we're sort of looking into accommodation and flights at the moment. It's I've set aside. It's I've. It's I went and worked out everything. So like uh, how much I need to save each month up until the June payments. Um, that way I can have. It's like the money in place for when the tickets come out, which I have. I even checked this morning to see if the E3 tickets are out, and they're not yet. I've got a funny feeling that it's going to be the beginning of the year that they release the tickets. So as soon as that happens. I'm gonna get mine. Um, it's gonna happen. I am going to E3, so long as they let me. So, if so I wanna go to E3, I wanna go to the Queen Mary, and there are obviously more haunted places in LA that I wanna take a look at, including even like the Hollywood sign. Most people don't know that that uh, is now sectioned off. It's uh, you can't actually go to the, all the way to the Hollywood sign and like touch it or anything because there were like suicides off of certain letters which is really sad and for well, it's, of course it's sad it's you know people uh went to that dark place but yeah it's like you, know, you go to some places and so uh, you do get i don't know so you get things from certain places now i'm not saying that the only places that i want to go and see are in la it's just I'm going to LA, I may as well go and see some of these places. It's, don't get me wrong, there are all sorts of haunted places down here too. It's just, uh, I don't want to go see those just yet. <laughs> you know, you find somewhere haunted that's like around the corner. It's like, I'd rather go and see places on the other, <laughs> in other countries that are haunted before I go and find things on my own doorstep. You know, that way, uh, whatever is attached to me has a further distance to come than uh, <laughs> something that's around the corner. So yeah. That, that's uh, always good. It's always good if there's a bit of distance between you and what's chasing you, right? I'm gonna be making more like haunted content, maybe uh, saying about stories of places around here that are haunted and... So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you for tuning in this time for my latest video. Uh, don't forget to check out my Spotify playlist. I'm actually yet to add another song on there. But uh, I'm going to be doing that as soon as this video finishes. So whatever song ends up on there, it's probably going to be by the Beatles, knowing me. Because I'm in a bit of a Beatles mood right now. I will catch you guys next time. I will say goodbye right now because I've got nothing else to say. And I've said goodbye several times now. I'm actually going to go now. Goodbye. <laughs>